and uh, also a few more scriptures I want to share. <coughs> so uh, for these things, when we when we are here to receive the glory of God, to so that He will teach us His ways, and we can check into our own heart. So as we know, we need to examine our heart. We need to get sanctified. Then only we receive His glory. So now these things to happen, we need to wait on Him, as we read in verse five. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all day. Another scripture says to wait on the Lord. When we wait on Him, when we are totally setting our heart on Him. So right now, many, some of us we, who we are here, we have a lot of things to do. But yeah, we need to do them. We need to do our responsibilities in home and in uh, f work or family. But beyond all that, where is our heart? Where is your heart? Is it in your work? Is it in your studies? Is it in your home? Or is it in the responsibilities of your life? Or is it in this thing, in this that we are going to wait for the Lord, that we are going to uh, wait upon Him and uh, check our hearts, we pray and we receive His glory. And um, there's some things I realized when I was reading through the Bible, like uh, in book of Acts, we can see an example of the people of Ephesus. Ephesians, th uh, those people were, they were, uh, when Paul came there and taught the gospel, many people started following Christ. So their business began to go down. And they were fearful for their business more than for their own God, that people are moving faith. And, but you can see how like devoted they were even if, if it was for their business or profit they were so devoted and for like two hours and the scripture says many did not know why they came together but for like two hours they were they gathered together in their place and they were shouting great is that god of uh, ephesus for a for an idol they did that for a for their profit or for their uh, idol they worship they did that but for us people uh, who who have received the glory, uh, grace of God, who have received the mercy of God, who received the word of God and the Holy Spirit. It's so tiresome for us, or it's so like something difficult or big thing to sacrifice for when we are asked to come and pray. I'm not trying to be judgmental, but I'm just sharing what I heard, like understood when I was reading today. Those people, they are heathens. They, were, mm, they don't have any what spirit of god they're not even there for the real god they are just doing it for their business or for their the idols they made and worship but for two hours they were there screaming and with the, all their strength for two hours and many of them did not know why they were gathered for but they were there just because they are there for in the name of their god and they were businessmen they said the whole city gathered together. So they left their family they left the work they were doing at home they left their business they left their shops and they gather together in that city center or that place. So what about us? That shows us how uh, deeply we are in the world or how f like, how our mind is filled with the world or with the things of the world, with the love of the world. And those who desire to love the world or those who decide to be friend of the world makes themselves an enemy of God. So when these things are in us, when we are so struggling to bring ourselves to prayer, when our heart is on other things, when our desire is on other things, when our eyes are set on other things, and our heart is filled with all these things which are contradicting the desire of God or the seeking of God, how can God come down among us? Or how can we f be filled in the Holy Spirit or receive the glory of God? So these are things I just, uh, we need to check our heart. Like, do we, when, uh, we decide to come for prayer or fasting when we sit for fasting now we can check our heart what is our what is our mind thinking what is our heart paining for are we thinking oh, this is like a big thing i'm doing like uh, leaving my work leaving my studies leaving home coming here is like a, is it like a big thing to us it's like a big sacrifice we are our heart is uh, in if it's in that position we can see that how our heart is corrupted and how our minds are still not renewed and I'm, I'm not telling this to unbelievers, right? We are all believers here. And we have been hearing the word of God. We have been receiving, receiving the, what, the strong word, not the milk 
all these years we are in this church and yet we are not ready to come and sit for prayer we are our heart is filled with other things yeah then mm, <coughs> and also this we can see in our present day uh, this example was of that time period but in our present day we can see uh people of other faith how devoted they are to their their gods their doctrines they are so devoted to it they go for long pilgrims they go f- they do hard works but for us we have the spirit of god we have the grace of god god did not tell us to do this on our own effort and we cannot do it on our own effort god is telling us to trust in him to put our heart on him to stand in his grace and mercy and <coughs> and uh, other things are like what i realized was we count other things more worthy than the glory of god or than or pleasing god more than more worthy than to walk pleasing to god because for example if you look into small stuff in life like someone says something someone does something to you you count it more worthy t- to carry it in your heart rather than the presence of god right because uh i just realized this today and i was like in one side i was like happy like and grateful that i realized in one side it was such like a godly sorrow because because godly sorrow it uh, leads us to repentance so i'm saying this so we can have that godly sorrow and we repent of that for small small things in life people say something to you or they do something to you we count it more worthy to carry it in our heart we are now so now we don't care then when something happen and we keep in our heart what what happens we fall from grace we we don't we are not in the presence of god we are not walking in the spirit of god so it's like you count it more worthy than walking in the spirit and pleasing god or walking in uh, experiencing the presence of god it's like god has given us his spirit he has given us his presence but now you're choosing that what what happens in the moment and you're keeping it in your heart and grumbling or and you're we are not bothering because that what happened right when some problem come we are moved off we are like oh, no, i don't care for word i don't care to read the bible i don't care to be in the fellowship i don't care to be in the presence i want to keep this and keep experiencing experiencing that keep experiencing the sorrow or the grief that we receive from the people around us but instead what does the bible tell us to do or what is the word of god to us that when because we are in fellowship god placed us in fellowship he placed us in family he placed us in the church that when this uh this uh things happen we use it for sanctification not to replace the presence of god not to replace the uh, presence of god in our life and to walk in the flesh but that's what we are doing right now it's like we are still childish in some areas of our life because this is what children do right if you look in our own family life when we we all were ki- uh, kids once so if we look into spiritual life right now we are still like little kids in many of the areas but here we are we are here in the presence of god and this is because of his great mercy his mo- his mercy for towards us so in one side we should be grateful of his mercy of his grace that he has given us he has shown us even though of all these years we have been uh, not walking according to the word of god as we should but now we are here again so i encourage uh, everyone to sit for prayer be it in fasting or without fasting to check our hearts to submit our hearts to god because this is more precious to us than anything